Hi everyone. In this video I turn a vase and color it with iridescent paint. I use air pressure to distribute the paint around the curved surface of the vase. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Thank you for watching. I start with a lock of Tuya. I'm not sure what, uh, what the English uh, name for this is. This is um, a light wood. Um, and in this case, a lot of uh, soft wood and uh, very hard to, uh, to cut. I use a spindle roughing out to level uh, the piece. And as you may be able to see, it is um, very rough and uh, splinters easily. Here I'm preparing the piece for a screw jack. It looks a half inch wall uh, gouts to uh, shape the ways. Here I'm squaring out the, the top with a cutting tool. There is a high pitch noise in the video and that is from my dust collection system. Sorry about that. I decided early on that uh, since this uh, video is mainly on uh, or about uh, coloring, I will not uh, show hollowing out of the uh, of the ways. The wood is uh, also not interesting and um, very hard to. Uh, cut properly. So you will only see me uh, turn the outside of the waist and the coloring of the outside. The dark uh, patches you see 
in the ways is where the wood has splintered, not cut properly. Here I am marking the um, the duos in uh, for the chuck uh, on the piece, so I can remove the piece and fit it again, and still be in balance. That's the theory, at least. I use uh, thin CI glue to try to stabilize some of the soft wood. And as you can see, I, I use a, a lot of uh, CI glue. And, but I didn't uh, use so much um, energy on this because, like I say, this is mainly experimenting on uh, coloring. The first uh, experiment uh, included four uh, iridescent uh, colors plus uh, a base color black um, spirit uh, stain but this was uh, too many colors and, uh, and the colors were also uh, dull should have been brighter so I decided to uh, make another try turned off the colors or most of it applied uh, again black uh, spirit stain as a base color and this time I only used two iridescent colors but they were still uh, dull and uh, uninteresting so I decided on third try and this time, after I turned off uh, the second experiment and sent it down to 214, I started with a sanding sealer, sprayed on. When that was dry, I sprayed on eponizing lacquer, waited for that to dry properly and then added the colors again only two colors and this time the result was uh, much better the colors were uh, much uh, more vibrant bright clear I use a flow medium together with the colors to, to make them easier to uh, move around on the on the piece. I apply the colors with a, a brush quite randomly, as you can see. The colors look uh, almost white when they are wet, but that is um, the flow medium. And um, when, when, the, when the color dries the true color will appear. I use an uh, air gun to uh, spread the, the color around the piece to cover the, the black base color more or less. Not necessarily 100% but more or less. 
remove all the brush strokes and so on. At this stage, the uh, the white in the color is very dominating. But this will change when the colors dry. You will see that later on. As you can see, uh, by using a uh, flow medium, it, it is very or relatively easy to move the colors around with the, uh, with the air pressure or the air gun. The biggest problem is, uh, in a way, to uh, avoid too much pressure from the gun. Now I, re I remove the uh, piece from the lathe and let it dry for 24 hours. I then uh, applied uh, two coats of uh, high gloss lacquer still images coming up I hope you enjoyed this uh, video thank you for uh, watching